to another book talk. You might be able to guess what room I am in. We're joined here with a very special guest who has a big, she's a big fan of this next genre and she's going to tell you about it and share a few books with you today. Hello, RM, RMS students. It's Mrs. Mateka here in fifth grade. And like Miss Russell said, uh, one of my favorite genres is definitely graphic novels. And graphic novels probably back in my day were referred to as comic books, but now they have really become popular among students. And so I am going to share at least three graphic novels with you, and then Mrs. Russell will be sharing some more. So the first graphic novel that I'm going to show you is another one that was pretty popular last year that was at the book fair, and that was from Raina Telgemeier, and that is her book called Guts. And so it goes through another one of her experiences as a young child dealing with anxieties and worries and how she had to deal with that. And so if you are a student that sometimes worries about things or you are anxious about things going on in your life, this just might be the book for you. Another one of my favorites, other than graphic novels, is also historical fiction. And this is a little bit of both. Um, Nathan Hale was actually, uh, I want to say if I remember correctly, he was a spy during the Revolutionary War. But there was also Nathan Hale, the actual author, and he was actually born in 1976. And so what he ended up doing is he ended up creating graphic novels based on historical events in our history. And again, they are in graphic novel form. So this one here happens to be called One Dead Spy. And this is during the Revolutionary War. Another one that is popular is the Donner Dinner Party. And those of you that have read that one, it's kind of a tasty kind of book, if you know what I mean. And there are others, um, Mud Trenches, um, and the Alamo, some other ones that he's that he has done as well. And then the last one I wanted to show you is this one called Quarterback Rush, and it is done through Sports Illustrated, and it is about a quarterback and some other people on his team and dealing with this idea of teamwork, not only on the field, but also off the field in life. So I have all these three graphic novels. If you're interested in them, please come and see me. Otherwise, you can check the library upstairs and also the public library in Rockford is always a good one to check as well. So, Mrs. Russell. All right, so I have a few different um, graphic novels for you as well. And I heard Mrs. Mateka talking about Raina Tegemeyer. I used to read Babysitter's Club book when I was in elementary and middle school, but they've updated it, of course, to be in graphic novel form. And there's a whole series of those. So that's kind of fun. This one is also a series. It is about um, superheroes when they are in school. And this is just one of them, Study Hall of Justice. There's a number of these also available in the Rockford uh, Middle School Library. I really enjoy um, this author. She uh, wrote Awkward, and this one is called Brave, and it's just about a boy who's kind of struggling through middle school and doesn't quite fit in, picked last for stuff, and um, has to kind of learn how to be brave throughout middle school and um, finds out some things about himself along the way, and it's just is a really relatable story, I think. These um, Roller Girl was up, I have not actually read this one yet. This is up for a Newbery uh, medal, and um, you know, sticker means that it's an award winner. It's, it was a good one. Uh, but this one also is about a girl who her friend decided to do something different. She signed up to be part of this roller, um, um, roller skating, and um, her friend signed up for dance camp, and so it's kind of like she's navigating this without her friend, and she's in this roller derby, and she's really learning what that means, uh, to kind of to be tough and to be um, on her own and without her friend by her side, and uh, it looks like a, a cute story. Right here, this one is new, um, Sanity and Tallulah, and this one is about um, uh, kind of space and science fiction as well as a graphic novel all rolled into one. So if you are interested in any of those topics, uh, this might be one that is for you. And the final one, this is actually based on a true story. It's about um, civil rights in the United States. 
and it is the story of John Lewis um, with his uh, experiences as a freedom writer and then during the civil rights era and then as he became a congressman this is his story there's actually three books um, that go to it this is the first one and it is called March and you can check it out in our media center also remember anytime that you are in the destiny card catalog you can search for these graphic novels fly off the shelves um, with all the people who are out checking out books in the last week Thank you for coming up to the Media Center and seeing me, Mrs. Anderson, talking to us about books. I probably helped people find maybe three or four um, graphic novels. You can see if they are available here in our library right now, over here on the side. So this one, City of Light, City of Dark, it, there are two of two available. But one like, um, if we keep scrolling down or keep, oop, let me move me out of the way, keep moving around. You can see some of these like science of basketball, there's zero of one. But remember, you can always hold it. And, and some of these, uh, if you are really into graphic novels or you're really waiting for one to come in, please make sure that you are using the Destiny card catalog to hold them. And that's really the fastest way that you are going to be able to find one of these books. Um, El Defo, this is a great book um, that was up for a Newbery Award. And then uh, White Bird, who is the author of um, Wonder, it was actually also has a graphic novel, and it's a great story, and it's very sad. So White Bird is another one to kind of be looking for as you are scrolling through here. But any of these, as you are scrolling through, you just search for graphic novel, and then click hold. And Mrs. Anderson will uh, let you know when it's available to be picked up. Happy reading, everybody. Mm -hmm.